See how Carwin's head movement is, is if he gets more oh! Down goes Wellish, and it is all wow. over! Forget about head movement! Knockout win! Wow. wow! The fist has always been the logical symbol of fight sports, the main weapon in the armament of fighters. Heavyweights proudly possessed the heaviest of these weapons, but there was one king who wielded the biggest maces of them all, and this was Shane Carwin. Long before he stepped foot in the cage, Carwin had a close relationship with sports. Starting to wrestle at age six, he went to become a two-time heavyweight NCAA Division II wrestling national runner-up before winning the national championship in 1999. His main goal, however, was to play in the NFL. He was on the right path, going there as two-time Division II All-American linebacker, but a serious back injury shattered his goal in life at that moment just before he could play in the Senior Bowl. Although devastated, he dusted himself up and got a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from the Colorado School of Mines, as well as a bachelor's degree in environmental technology from Western State College. As with quite a few fighters from his generation, the inability to play in the major ball leagues opened the way for Shane to mixed martial arts. There, the Titan employed his work ethic and remarkable physical gifts to earn an impressive 12-2 record, with all 12 wins coming in the first round. All the while, refusing to quit his full-time engineering job, even at the height of his UFC career. Talk about shattering stereotypes. Carwin's MMA debut came at the ripe age of 30 in October of 2005 at WEC 17 in Lemoore, California. Shane weighed in massive 285 pounds. Tonight he is making his professional debut. He weighed in at 285 pounds. He needed only two minutes and his wrestling to ground and pound opponent Carlton Jones into submission. Well, he knows ground and pound. That's what we're seeing right now. He's just trying to pound him out. That's it. Carlton That's Jones has had enough. And Carwin, nice win. Shane Carwin, little ground and pound action. After the successful start of his pro MMA career, Shane fell in love with the sport. His travels aligned him with the then still developing top MMA coach Trevor Whitman who managed to channel Carwin's raw physical strength into the striking domain besides the already great wrestling skills he possessed. After a few more first round finishes with both knockouts and submissions, Shane Carwin was getting to the big stage and made his UFC debut with a record of eight and zero. Welcoming him in the octagon in May 2008 was Christian Wellish, not knowing that he would be on the receiving end of a highlight reel KO. Here we go! See how Carwin's head movement is, is if he gets more Oh! oh. Down goes Wellish, and it is all wow. over! Forget about head movement! Knockout win! Wow. wow! Big power! In his second outing, Carwin would make quick work of Neil Wayne, winning another one-sided fight via first-round TKO. Shane's third UFC fight was against already established UFC veteran Gabriel Gonzaga. The Brazilian made his name with the upset head kick knockout of the head kick kingpin himself, Mirko Krokop. Gonzaga looking very calm. Good right hand by Gonzaga, and another one again. Carlin's in trouble. And as we said before, if Gonzaga can take him to the ground, and he does. Wow. Back Carwin. up though, it's Carwin. Carwin back to his feet, but he looked a little stiff in the stand up, and he's getting. Oh! before that knockout. Gonzaga hurt him with a right hand, and look at this, oh! The KO of Gonzaga earned the heavy-handed Carwin an interim title shot against legend Frank Mir. Although the elder, Shane had far less cage time than Mir, and Frank was at his best form. The fight was part of UFC 111, headlined by GSP, but the heavyweights were the real main event for a lot of people. These people were not disappointed. There's a nice combination a by Frank. There's a left by Carwin. A couple of big up and cuts. Frank Mears in trouble. Frank Mears in big trouble. Oh. Carwin looking for the finish. Can he survive? Wow! Carwin just exploded. I think he's out, Mike. He's out. Jesus, he's unconscious. Shane Carwin!
Shane held the interim title for just three months before he faced the returning Goliath Brock Lesnar in a title unification match. The former WWE champion had a long and tough bout battling a rare stomach disease. Despite a loss to Frank Mir, Lesnar never appeared to be on the defensive before the Carwin fight. His aura was about to be smashed to pieces in the giant hands of Shane Carwin. And here we go! Remember, Lesnar threw that right hand against Heath oh, Herring, he and he did it right there to Carwin. The chance of Carwin have begun. Carwin with oh, the uppercut. Big uppercut. Clips, Brock, Brock is, is covering He's hurt. Shane Carwin! The oh, knee by knee. Carwin. Lesnar's Carwin's hurt. got Lesnar oh, on the down. run. Shane Carwin trying to finish. Shane what? Carwin! Unbelievable! Big trouble. Huge we, elbow. And we've never seen him ever in a position even remotely close to this before. Oh, big, big elbows! elbows. Big right hands! You can hear him, Joe! Trying to get back to his feet. Wow! Shane Carlin's wife is behind us and she's not watching. She's covering her head and looking down on the ground. What a way to start this fight. Here is round two! Carwin looking to explode again. There's the big shot. There it is. He's got the mount. Trying to choke out Shane The way Carwin. Shane's arms are, though, the way he's in with his elbow, he's okay here. In the mixed martial arts world. Oh, it's it's all over! It is all over! Wow! Lesnar is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world! After the loss, Shane had to undergo another surgery. This time, the neck. He returned to the Octagon in 2011 for one last time in a title eliminator against future heavyweight champ, Junior Dos Santos. He's tagging him here. Junior trying to... That's a big right hand, a big left hook. Shane's in trouble. Big. Junior Dos Santos. Carwin's in big trouble. Dos Santos going for the finish. Shane's in all kinds of trouble here. And we'll see if Junior punches himself out here. Shane's up. Oh, man, he is a bloody man. Dos Santos is finding a home. Carwin trying to hunt Dos Santos. Oh, he tagged him. End it, end it instantly. Oh. Nice right hand by Carwin. One minute. Heck oh! Oh, oh vicious body shot. Trying to he's take got him down. To work his way right back up. He's up. He's not loose yet, though. That stiff jab. Oh, that and left hook hurt him. By the hook. Straight jab and the right hand behind it. Oh! Junior Dos Santos with the takedown. And to finish the fight, another big takedown. And this fight goes the distance. Chicano Dos Santos. Later that year, Carwin had another back surgery from which he didn't recover as quickly as expected. UFC placed him as a coach in The Ultimate Fighter opposite Roy Nelson, but yet another injury, this time to the knee, wouldn't let Shane fight at the event finale. Then on May 7th, his several returning injuries forced the fighter to finally recognize that his body couldn't keep up with the punishment of combat sports and hung up his fingerless gloves. Shane was always a fan favorite fighter, partly because of his freakish strength and exciting fights, but also for his friendliness and down-to-earth behavior, which won him many fans. And let's not forget that he kept his job as an engineer the entire time he fought, much like present-day hero Stipe Miocic, who is an active firefighter. When you think of heavy hands in modern-day MMA, you think of Francis Ngannou, but years before his rise, there was Shane Carwin.